Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my bathroom again. Yes, today's video is gonna be an ASOS haul. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of different, really fun like swimsuits and stuff, very plus friendly swimsuits and shoes and beachy stuff and vacation ready stuff and so stay tuned for that. But we are blessed to have a sponsor today and guess who it is? It's Native. <laughs> Native is sponsoring our video today which makes me very happy because about three or four, three or four months ago now, I went ahead and converted over to using aluminum free paraben free deodorant and I switched over to native and here we are today. So the first one I started using was the Sweet Peach and Nectar. It has a really light peachy like summery kind of sweet scent. I also got the powder and cotton which I haven't used this one yet. If you're just looking for a really light fresh scent I would highly recommend this particular one the powder and cotton. We also have the coconut and vanilla. I cannot believe I didn't notice a little heart on all of them. Yeah, that smells exactly like the body wash. <laughs> this is what my whole body smells like. And then we have the one that I'm currently using, so I'm about to put some on right now, but this is the sea salt and cedar scent. I like this one because it has almost like a, almost like a little bit of a, like a masculine, kind of a muskier scent, not a musty scent, a musky scent, right? So I really like this one. Like I said, this is the one I've been using, so you know, it looks used. <laughs> I switched over to using an aluminum free deodorant because so many of y'all told me that I needed to. So I was like, okay, well, you guys said, you know, you really liked Native specifically, so I decided to try Native first and I ended up loving it. It doesn't feel like sticky or anything when you're putting it on. I also got this body wash and if you guys have been following me for the last few months, you know that uh, back in, I think, November, I started using their like candy cane scented body wash, which was, it's like one of their like holiday kind of seasonal scents. And she was spicy. <laughs> we had a fun time with that one. Um, a lot of you guys tried it after I was talking about it on my Instagram and you said that you enjoyed it as well. Um, if you know, you know. If you don't, I'm sorry you missed it. But I did get a scent from the candy shop and this is the sweet cinnamon hearts scent. If you ever had like the little cinnamon candies before, that's pretty much what it smells like, but like with a sugary kind of sweetness on top of it. I haven't tried this one yet, but I have gone through a couple of other body washes and I like them. Clearly I'm repurchasing them, so. Speaking of purchasing, I did of course get a code that you guys can use. You can use my link and the code Vargas and you can get 20% off of your first purchase. The offer is available like site wide, but it's only for a limited time. So if you want to stack up, it's a good time to do it. So you can save some money. I've been loving Native. They're sulfate free, paraben free, dye free, phthalate free. They are aluminum free, cruelty free, they're vegan. So I, I, I can't complain. <laughs> All right, so I'll have that link and that code down below for you guys. Now let's move on to the show. All right, now jumping right into the clothing. This is a bathing suit, but let me backtrack for one second. If you've never heard of ASOS, they have a massive variety of clothing for men and women. They have, I mean, a huge size range. They have a huge selection of shoes, and they have things that are name brand. You have your Calvin Klein's, your Nike's, your Puma's, your whatever. They have all of that. They have your Boohoo's, they have Misguided. So they have a ton of different brands a ton of different styles, a ton of different stuff, along with their own personal like ASOS design stuff. And it's all in one place. And they are, I think it's a UK based company, but they have something called ASOS Premier, which is basically, it used to be 20 bucks and you would get free two day shipping for an entire year for $20. I do believe they just bumped the price because I just repurchased this. So it's either 25 or 29 now. But for me, it's worth it. Even if I only order four or five times throughout the year, for me, it's totally worth it. All of this stuff was ordered on a Tuesday and arrived on a Wednesday. It's That's incredible to me. The returns are also ridiculously easy. This is obviously not affiliated with ASOS in any way. This video is sponsored by Native, but I just wanted to give a huge shout out to ASOS because they regularly have incredible clothing, things you are not gonna see other places, or items you are gonna see other places, but here, they're probably actually gonna offer them in your size, if you're plus size. And that's a huge deal. Like when I couldn't find my Calvin Klein like little matching set, anywhere else I could find it on ASOS. Just keep that in mind if you've never shopped with them before they have an insane amount of accessories. I'm just gonna show you some things that really piqued my interest like this swimsuit and <laughs> then we'll just go from there. So they're calling this the 3D swimsuit. I've seen a few. There was a blue one that was really popular. It was constantly on like my ads online and when I went to go buy it of course it was sold out because if it's on an ad it's gonna get bought. But this one was still available. So one thing to note is that a lot of times ASOS does run a bit 
on the bigger side. So normally in a swimsuit, I would probably be more towards a size 18, but I'm wearing a 16 and she's a perfect fit. We have actual ruffles. Like it's a very cool swimsuit. It's a little bit itchy, you know, because of the type of suit that it is. I feel like I can probably comfortably show you the butt without exposing too much here. It does have like a nice big opening in the back and then it has a little clasp. If you don't want a lot of your back showing, then you probably won't love this one. It didn't specifically say that you can't wear it in water. Some stuff says that. Like if you go on the skim site, some stuff will be like, not meant for wearing in water. And I'm like, it's a swimsuit. It's a swimsuit. But I guess it's not that uncommon when you're really going for just like the pizzazz of it all. So the normal price of this was 80 bucks or 85. I got 15% off of everything because they oftentimes have sales, but you have to go look for the code. So right now they have, I think 20% off or 15% off if you're like a new customer, which obviously I'm not. I just Googled a coupon and I found one. So I got 15% off. I think it's a pretty good price given the quality of the suit itself. It's a little itchy. So if you're just trying to be that little hot girl by the, by the pool, she might be for you, but she's a little itchy. I mean, the detail is really incredible though. Okay, this one I think is listed at $61. This is a size XL, is that right? A size XL? That doesn't sound right. Should be a size 16. I think it's a size 16. This one I thought was really cool because it has this band across the center. This is like a stretchy band, so it's kind of helping to create a waist. In the photo, she has it way higher on her hip and I can, you know, obviously pull it up and make it higher on my hip. And me personally, for my body, I do prefer the way this looks because otherwise it's kind of cutting me off in, in kind of like creating this dent <laughs> over my thighs and it's making it look like it's really, you know, cutting off the circulation, which it's not. There's plenty of room um, and there's plenty of lower belly space as well. In fact, if I had the lower belly, I can almost guarantee you that it would look better on the leg because the belly would be stretching it out off of my body a little bit. Um, so keep that in mind, but I'll go ahead and put it up for now because I think on me, it looks better like this. Back is pretty high coverage, like it goes up you know, to a solid amount there, just about my bra line. And overall, pretty good coverage on the butt. There's really not a whole lot of like cheek hanging out, although I think you could kind of adjust if you did want a little bit more cheek hanging out. Overall, it's a really good fit. Feels very good, feels like a high quality suit. And I did get some hats and stuff, so we might as well pop one on. I don't ever wear hats, so I don't know how to feel when I actually put one on. These ones are adjustable. They have like a stretchy elastic piece inside of them. And the brim of these ones, um, they're also adjustable. So if you wanted it like really curled, like if you were going for that kind of cowgirl sort of look, you could do that. You could also have it way more straight, kind of more of that like oversized like sun hat kind of look. I think I like it somewhere in between, but I don't know if I like it at all. How do I look in a hat? I think it just looks so weird to me, but like objectively, does it look okay? <laughs> It's just a very beachy, cute little hat. And on the inside, it has these two elastic pieces that allow you to make it tighter or looser on your actual head. So I have a pretty big dome and it fits me just fine with a little bit of extra space. So if you have like a little head, then rest assured, you could at least make it tighter so that it fits onto your head and it's not like swallowing your head whole. I also got a bunch of shoes. ASOS has a huge variety of wide foot, wide calf. They have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. I'm telling you, the majority of shoes that I see on there, if I see it in a regular width, I also see it in a wide width. And that is just unheard of for me personally. That's the spot. Like if I need heels, if I need sandals, if I need tennis shoes, if I need whatever, like I go to ASOS and I look there first because the quality is usually on point. Like I said, they have a lot of different retailers so you kind of learn which ones you like and maybe which ones you don't like as much but i like asos design so this is my asos design and usually what that means is that it's going to be on the less expensive end they're really cute i don't normally need a wide width but with sandals like this i do like to get them because of the fact that it's barely on your foot at all and that's obviously the widest part of my foot so i like to have little sandals like this something about the lighting i don't like in that spot over there so we moved this swimsuit i really like I feel like a lot of people are gonna like this swimsuit again i have it pulled up a little bit higher on the sides but it does go a bit lower you again have some space up front and it has this line of ruching if you can see it there is ruching going up the front it goes all the way up and there's ruching on the back on the butt you have this top which you could really go a lot of different ways you see how long the strings are on this top so you can cross it in the front you can cross it in the back you can cross it 
and then you could bring it down and cross it again or tie it a different way it's kind of up to you overall I think the suit is really comfortable it doesn't have a whole ton of support and very rarely do I feel like I need a lot of support but I feel like I have very little in this one but it's so comfortable it's it's a cute comfortable print and I think we can I bought like a cover-up bought this and I don't really have a perfect swimsuit to show this with so um, this was the last swimsuit that I had this I got in a size 16 as well so oh this is kind of cute okay so the cover-up is obviously completely open it does this like twist situation up here and then it's just totally open and it goes down to about I don't know almost my ankle kind of like lower calf oh okay this is this is kind of fun so it does twist and then it hangs down and then in the back you would be tying it again I wasn't planning on wearing it with this suit although I do think the colors really go and I really don't think it looks bad with this suit I think it looks kind of cool actually so then you're able to tie it and really secure it in the back it's super lightweight definitely like a beachy I'm at a resort kind of cover up like I want to show a little bit that's what I'm here for kind of thing oh this is really cute hang on I also got this hat <laughs> it's like a I guess this one's more of like a bucket hat it also has those adjusters inside of it oh not sure I'm liking where this is going but the hat and the bag I believe are crocheted I don't know the hat and the bag like really go together I thought the bag was really cute it does have a lining on the inside of it um the bag was like 50 bucks I think so it's you know she's not she wasn't cheap by any means I'm not sure how the <laughs> not sure how I feel about it with the hat but the hat is a good quality too. It, it has those same adjusters on the inside of it so that you can adjust it to your head. How do we feel about this particular look? I got these wedges or espadrilles, I guess, right? Are these espadrilles? I'm not sure. But I got these. These are also in a wide width. But I wanted it to fit around my ankle. Okay, they're on. They actually fit really, really, really well. I have plenty of room with the ankle straps. And you kind of see what's happening here. They're really easy to walk in. They do have a lot of height. They're super cute. They match the bag. They're going to match any like straw situations I, I really like this whole thing all together very cute okay I was positive that this dress was gonna be perfect on me I just broke a nail I'm pretty sad but I am, am I'm gonna rejoice here because it is the dress is beautiful it's lovely oh Sarah it's just a polka dot dress I know but it's that clinging kind of weighted material and it just does something for the body it just does I love the little fluttery sleeves I got it in a size 16 a US 16 it's you know a little sundress style I still have the shoes on so I think they look cute together and it's a cute little outfit okay this top is part of a set and you can kind of play the ties however you want really but I wanted to show it to you without me putting the other part on I did buy the second like part but it was the second part to a different set so they're very very similar and they're both like black beachy the the poolside kind of material and this is so cute I love the bubble sleeve I love how thick the ties are I decided to just do the the little cross situation and there's a ton left back here so you can definitely switch it up and go around more if you want or go around differently in the photo she has it kind of stopping more here so that her chest is a little bit more exposed but I have a bra on and not a swimsuit top so I wouldn't want to wear it like that and then I have a feeling the tops or the bottoms are gonna go up pretty high they are that kind of you know transparent material because it's meant to go over a swimsuit that being said there's nothing wrong with putting a bodysuit underneath swimsuit cover-ups and wearing them as outfits especially when you're on vacation especially when you're in resorts and stuff like that I mean that's just kind of par for the course there it do connect if I'm not careful because the skirts pretty long it has this piece across the front and then it has the two on the side and this is actually a style that I'm really really in love with but you can keep it together I would need to trim a few inches off if I was walking you would see my legs a bit but you wouldn't see like my my cooch you know what I'm saying which I think is the important part this is a really cute set and just what I like to have when I'm on vacation <laughs> they love each other i also picked up these heels and they're just like little slip-ons so i'll just show them with this outfit because it's not going to match the next outfit okay boop 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 this outfit turned out like surprisingly cute i originally had a different top for the bottom and a different bottom for the top but it didn't work out they like sold out before i could check out um the top is like this ruffled you see how big the ruffles get on the arms 
like this huge kind of balloon sleeve situation. I think it would look cute with or without the straps, so you could tuck those if you want. And then it's kind of like a long line in the front. It's uh, basically kind of like a scuba material. It's stretchy, so I got them both in a 16. So the skirt is a stretch satin, and it, it stretches, like I said. It has the slit up the side. It has a hook and eye closure along with the zipper up the opposite side. I don't have any kind of shapewear or anything on, so I will say that it definitely shows every little lump and every little bump as far as like cellulite kind of stuff goes. If that was something you cared about, you would just need to wear like a smoothing panty underneath. Mine's obviously gonna bunch a bit here in the front, but it definitely has extra space, so it would be lower belly friendly. And then you have these little straps here. And so, let me just roll the shirt up a tiny bit. So you see the straps come across and then they tie in the back. It's so much cuter than I thought it was gonna be, so I'm just very happy with this <laughs> whole outfit. It was $49, that's kind of steep. I mean, it feels nice and everything, don't get me wrong, but. $50? Feels a little steep. <laughs> Get a coupon, girl, if you can. This is so fun. Like, I wish it wasn't still, like, so gray and dreary and everything else here, but this is a really fun outfit, especially if you're going on a little vacation and you want to look especially cute. That's the end of our video, though, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will have links down below for you guys. Thanks again to Native for sponsoring a portion of today's video. You guys can click that link that I have down below and use the code Vargas and you'll get 20% off of your first order. Besides that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.